I'm here to announce that uh, this afternoon a 33-year-old Banyo man has been charged with break and enter with intent with a number of circumstances of aggravation, acts intended to cause grievous bodily harm and also unlawful wounding. Uh, these matters relate to the serious assault of a 72-year-old uh, manly woman at Oceana Terrace at, uh, on the 27th of October 2012. Uh, the man uh, will appear in the Wynnum Magistrates Court uh, tomorrow morning uh, and uh, he'll, bail will be strenuously opposed. Can you tell us a little bit about the arrest? Was he arrested in Queensland? He, he was arrested in Queensland. The actual specifics of the, um, uh, the investigation, because the matters are now before the court, I can't comment on them. But I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, members of the public who uh, did contact police after our initial media request and who provided information and uh, I must say without their assistance uh, it may possibly that this matter may have gone unsolved so I'd like to again take the opportunity to thank them and also to uh, encourage anyone who's got any information about any criminal activity to actually contact Crime Stoppers on uh, 1800 333 000 and provide that information. They can do that anonymously uh, to help actually us solve serious matters such as this. What was the response through Crime Stoppers for this? Um, we, we did uh, receive um, a number of uh, sources of people actually contacted through Crime Stoppers and they also contacted police directly. So uh, if people aren't confident in, in contacting police directly, that uh, we'd encourage them to contact Crime Stoppers. How much is it a relief for not only police but elderly people living in this area this man's been apprehended? Well, certainly this is, uh, you know, what I'd regard as a serious, uh, you know, quite disturbing and uh, heinous sort of offence, you know, elderly lady in the sort of sanctity of her own home, um, you know, to, to be savaged um, and to actually receive the injuries that she did, which were quite significant, uh, significant facial injuries, um, you know, doesn't get much worse than that in my view. But, uh, you know, she has been advised uh, of the arrest and uh, she's uh, quite appreciative of the uh, police efforts and uh, in sort of bringing this matter you know, to a conclusion so far. How's she going overall? Well, as you can imagine, um, I've, I've been informed that the physical, uh, the, the actual injuries themselves are healing. But as you can imagine, um, I believe that herself and the family are still quite uh, traumatised, which is quite understandable with, uh, with the incident. And um, so hopefully uh, this may bring her some, uh, some sort of uh, closure. Is he being looked at over other matters? Uh, there are a number of other charges, um, property offences that don't relate to this matter that uh, have been um, preferred against him. Just with the Crime Stoppers, can you say whether you received dozens of calls or, or more? Uh, I, again, specifically, I'm unable to actually uh, address uh, how many calls we've got in relation to this and, uh, and how many uh, sources of information came direct from the public. But needless to say, we do appreciate uh, certainly uh, the community's assistance. Uh, in fact, we can't, we can't operate without community assistance and community support. And it, it's matters like this that uh, where they uh, the community comes together and actually does provide information and uh, uh, it does actually uh, prove uh, results such as this. Do the other offences relate to crimes in, in this area, in the Manly area? Some relate to this area and certainly other uh, various areas through our prison. Over a period of roughly how long? Uh, again, specifically, I can't sort of uh, comment on uh, the specifics of the charges once they're before the courts, but, but certainly there's been um, a, a number of charges preferred against him. I'd imagine this operation's been fairly big for police? Yeah, certainly um, the William District CIB who preferred the charges have taken this matter extremely seriously and the resources by the Queensland Police Service uh, to bring this to a conclusion uh, were quite extensive. Um, uh, certainly I know my officers worked tirelessly to uh, locate and apprehend this offender and, and certainly to uh, provide that there's sufficient evidence uh, to place him before the courts.